Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. My first decal review of 2021. But before we get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is the decal set for War for Cybertron Earthrise Trailbreaker. This decal set includes two decal sheets. You got one here on foil backing and a decal sheet here on vinyl. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Trailbreaker both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Trailbreaker is a great throwback of his original Generation 1 toy with some pretty decent paint applications. He's got the yellow, orange, and red striping right here along the sides of the vehicle. Four-wheel drive right there on the side as well. Big red Autobot logo there on the hood. Nice silver grill with translucent windows. He's got a translucent windshield here, but unfortunately you can see all the transformation bits there on the inside. Visible robot hand syndrome. One thing I really can't stand about this figure is the rims how they give him great looking wheels here on the front and you got those blasted clips there on the back molded in details here on the camper top really really needs some windows along with windows here on the side back of the vehicle you've got tail lights and that is about it a really nice looking vehicle mode but definitely needs a little bit more so there's one final look at trailbreaker in vehicle mode before and after. Now the first decals you're probably noticing are these glorious windows and they look great. New window decals right here for the windshield that covers up all that translucent plastic. Windows that cover up the just plain molded black plastic here along the side. Though this window suffers a little bit because of the transformation joints but still looks so much better than what it was. He also gets a new window right here on top of the camper and on the rear of the vehicle, also a new window, new taillight decals, and a license plate. I've got the one that says Trail Break. You also have other options to have either Trail Cutter, T-Bone, or Trail Blaze. But I went with Trail Breaker because I'm old school. He also gets new red striping right there on the front on both sides, and what's really cool, these decals for the headlights and how these work. You put the decal behind the headlights. If you can see right there. So once you put those on, the silver shines through the translucent plastic to give the headlights more of a realistic look. And I really dig that. Trailbreaker's vehicle mode looks great now. Those windows really add to it. <laughs> And for all my fellow G1ers out there, here's the comparison of the Toy Hacks Enhanced Earthrise Trailbreaker with his Generation 1 counterpart. I love how Toy Hacks really looks at these G1 figures for inspiration for the decals for the new molds. And yes, my decals are a little rough on my Trailbreaker. I have new Toy Hacks decals for him in hand. So there you go guys, one final look at Trailbreaker in vehicle mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Trailbreaker looks great. He looks like he stepped right out of the cartoon from the 1980s. He's got fantastic molded detail, but that being said, he also really doesn't have many paint applications. He has his blue visor, the red Autobot logo there on his chest, a painted tip of his weapon, and painted shins. He also has this blasted transparent windshield right there on the chest where you can look through and see all the hinges and joints for the transformation of the toy. I hate transparent windshields that reveal everything like that. 
Back of the figure, he does have the paint applications from vehicle mode, but really doesn't affect anything in robot mode. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Trailbreaker in robot mode before and after. Trailbreaker here gets all kinds of Generation 1 love thanks to Toy Hacks. Starting from the top, we've got brand new decals right there inside the sensor array. You can see the yellow decals right there. I'm really debating on painting this with my chrome pen to make that a little bit more G1 accurate. He also gets new eye decals. You can see a nice shiny looking blue visor opposed to what he had before. Now you do get some options. You can go with the blue like I did, or there is red decals as well if you want to give him a more Generation 1 look. You actually get multiple decals in case you screw up. There's also decals right here that cover up the pins on the shoulders. And if you lift the arms up, the flaps behind have some great Generation 1 throwback decals that really break up all the black. He also gets blue decals right there on the bicep and new decals here on the forearms. Moving down to the waist, new decals right there, decals here on the thighs, decals on the knees, and decals there on the feet. And I think that looks really good. As I said, really breaks up all that black. And now for a G1 robot mode comparison, you can tell the love that Toy Hacks gave Earthrise Trailbreaker. See the designs right there on the inside of the flaps that go right along with the ones on the Generation 1 toy, down to the kneecaps, and there on the feet. I love it. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Trailbreaker in robot mode after. For being my first decal review of 2021, Toy Hacks once again knocked it out of the park. I love the Generation 1 throwbacks on this Earthrise Trailbreaker. It breaks up the black so nice and really makes this figure pop now, especially fixing that blasted clear windshield. I love how this figure looks now. I've got no complaints whatsoever. And also, did you notice my new background? I finally broke down and bought one of the toy stages from ToyHacks.com to change up the look of my review. Let me know what you thought about this background in the comments. The one I'm using right here is a medium sized along with the gold floor tiles to really add to the look. I just wanted to change something up for 2021. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!